You can't talk about China in China without mentioning Jingdezhang, the ceramics capital of the world. The origin of the word China is a bit murky, but many say that it comes from the original name of this city, Changnan. Through dynasties, wars, revolution, and even on to our digital age, how has this ancient craft maintained its relevance? This is Xinhua Special, and I'm Helen Bentley. This workshop has been built to showcase the techniques that have been used throughout the Song, Yuan, Ming and Qing dynasties. Potters have been creating pottery here for generations and I can't think of a better place to try my hand at it. This might not look like much at the moment, but I have been told that with a bit of spin, I can turn it into something wonderful. It's not too bad, is it? It's a good start. Anyone working with clay, anyone who knows anything about clay, knows about Jingdezhen. This is the birthplace of porcelain. We are here to this is the memory of this the of the for nearly 2,000 years, like the potter's wheel, time has turned here, with each year, century, millennium, shaping the history of this city and its products. This vast space holds a ceramic collection dating from more than 1,800 years ago right up to the present day. It's like taking a journey through China's history. Each piece tells a story. This Yuan Dynasty vase is at least 700 years old, and it is one of just 400 pieces of blue and white porcelain from this period in known existence. Uh, Today, this blue and white pattern is quintessentially Chinese, but the blue pigment was actually brought here by Persian traders. Zhongguo Just like the traders that brought pigments to China, today there's a new wave of visitors that are bringing new approaches and ideas to ceramics making. Every year, thousands of foreigners come here to Jingdezhen, some of them to open their own workshops. So what is it about this city that brings ceramic connoisseurs here? To work with porcelain, it's so important to touch the Chinese clay because this is the motherland of porcelain. Christiane is an artist from Germany who combines light with porcelain to make installations. She is currently a resident at the International Art Studio in Tao Xi Chuan, an art zone built on the site of an old plate factory. In another studio, not far away, is American Ryan Labar. Like Christiane, Ryan first came to Jingdezhen for a short residency. At the time, the area was undergoing renovation and he saw the potential to build his own studio. Jingdezhen has what I call creative energy or creative potential, which is uh, this sort of source energy without sounding too kooky, but you feel that you can do anything, you can make anything. And that's because there's layers and layers of history here of making. When French artist Camille first arrived in Jingdezhen, she only had a rudimentary grasp of Chinese. The experience of working with a local craftsman made her better appreciate clay. But what do outsiders, like Camille, offer to the local community? 
here there is a, a learning where it's like this, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, you need to do it this way. Where we are like, oh, maybe we do four and three and two and, you know, it could work out. So, yeah, I think that this, this is the influence that Foreigner brings to the young generation in Jingdezhen. Kind of just trying to get your own creative process. Try, experience, you know, make it yours. The firing of ceramics is the final and most crucial stage. Even if everything was perfect up until this point, you never know what will happen after you close the kiln doors. Porcelain reacts to the temperature of the kiln. It can crack, move, shift or even combine. It can take days to fire fine porcelain and I'll be honest, I don't really have the time. But luckily for me, the same spark that lit the fires here thousands of years ago had another bright idea and that is 3D printing which is much more precise than doing it by hand and in addition we have this which is a microwave kiln which can bake those products in a fraction of the time. Jingdezhen, its purpose is one is open, the second is creative. Its industry Today, the ceramics industry in Jingdezhen employs over 150,000 people, many at an industrial park in the north of the city. The city's Ceramic Institute continues to train the next generation of master craftsmen, and the creative community keeps the art of ceramics alive. Historically, societies have interacted through the trading goods or through the clash of swords. Jingdezhen is and always has been a center of production, of creation. War has never been to Jingdezhen. Porcelain has made it a place that is not only prosperous, but peaceful. And that is smashing. See you next time. Oh. Oops. It's okay.